Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. The launching of ships is a prestigious event by itself. Not all boat and ship launch ceremonies are a success, and many times these events turn into unexpectedly massive ship launch failure. Even though they cause losses of hundreds of thousands of dollars, let's have a look at 10 ship launches that went horribly wrong. Number 10. Cargo Ship Launch Failure Cargo ships are some of the most used and biggest ships in the world, as they are responsible for high levels of trade. Have you ever heard of a ship spilling oil in the sea and destroying the habitat? That's always the doings of a cargo ship. These gigantic creatures are made to last forever, because they have to spend the whole time sailing the seas. If Whitebeard was alive today, he'd have a cargo ship for his private crew. But cargo ships don't last forever. And some don't even get to sail once because of a launching incident, just like the one we are about to show you. As this vessel comes out of the yard, everything seems to be going just fine for it. But then suddenly, in the presence of its proud creators and designers, the vessel starts to tilt to its starboard side as smoothly as it took to the waters from the shipping yard. What can be the reason for such ship launch failure? Any guess? Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number nine, cruise ship launch failure. Compared to cargo ships, cruise ships are more delicate and much higher, which makes them more prone to damage. You must have heard the saying, the higher they are, the bigger they fall or something like that. We are not experts in sayings. The makers of this Chinese vessel must have been hugely embarrassed before the various gathered guests at the launching ceremony. The vessel's position is risky, submerged into the water at the back end. The people try to pull it from the front to balance the weight so it doesn't get completely submerged into water. But the surface gets loose and the ship directly goes inside water. We wonder how bad can the management be for such a ship launching disaster? Number eight, equipment failure. You would think that the management or bad luck must be at play for a bad ship launching moment, but that isn't always the case. Not all boat or ship launches can be blamed on the ship's construction. Sometimes it's the equipment that aids in the vessel's launch that fails completely, just as in this video. The equipment, which is the long crane that is aiding the boat to be launched into the waters, collapses entirely, resulting in the boat capsizing in the water. The crane can be seen going up in the air and losing its balance as the ship comes down, caressing the dock really badly. Maybe the management should have spent a little more money on a better crane company. At least the crane didn't fall in the water, that's a plus. Number 7. Harness Failure in this video, a small boat launching disaster is shown. This boat seems to be quite well harnessed as it is prepared to be launched. Here, everything is supposed to play out well. The boat stays in the air a while as the operator positions it nicely for the launch. Unfortunately, the boat suddenly slips out of the harness's confines, falling into the water. It was probably due to some wire failure, but the failed boat launch does catch everyone by surprise. Number 6. RMS Titanic the Titanic is the ship disaster that everyone knows about. At the time of its launch, the Titanic was the largest and most developed cruise ship in the world, having been built in Ireland. Engineers were so confident in the ship that they literally called it unsinkable. Kinda ironic because it sank during its very first voyage. On April 10, 1912, the Titanic set sail from Southampton on its way to New York City. Tragedy struck on April 14, 1912, when the Titanic hit an iceberg while sailing in the North Atlantic Ocean. It is estimated that 1,517 people lost their lives that day, making it one of the most devastating maritime disasters in modern history. After many unsuccessful expeditions and attempts to discover the Titanic wreckage, its location was finally discovered in 1985. Numerous artifacts and antiques were collected from the shipwreck, and most of them are now held on display in the National Maritime Museum in England. 
Today, the wreckage of the RMS Titanic is under the protection of the 2001 UNESCO Convention. There have been numerous schemes put in place to raise the ship from its wreckage area, but the ship is in such a fragile condition that such plans have been abandoned altogether. Number 5. Crane Truck Deflection This video is truly shocking. The launching pad for this vessel is atop a small plateau overlooking the water. Aided by a crane truck instead of tugboats and barges, which is a rookie mistake as you have already seen disaster caused by a crane before, the launching seems to be well coordinated until a few meters remain for the vessel to touch the water's surface. It is then that the crane truck completely twists, unable to take the weight of the vessel, thus causing the boat to drop down and overturn into the water. The scariest thing is that people are standing on the boat while it is being launched in the water. At least the boat looks okay. Er, not really. Number 4. RMS Empress of Ireland Ships having Ireland in their names have a bad history with disasters, and we will tell you why. Barely two years after the Titanic, another ship launch led to a disaster that is still remembered by everyone. Well, maybe not everyone, because a movie starring Leonardo DiCaprio wasn't made on it, but a fair amount of people do know about it. On the 29th of May, 1914, the Canadian ocean liner RMS Empress of Ireland sank while traversing the mouth of the St. Lawrence River. The ship collided with the Norwegian collier SS Storstad as a result of thick fog, sinking and killing more than 1,012 people. Currently, the wreck of Empress Ireland lies in the shallows of the Lawrence River. The vessel was heading from Quebec City on its way to Liverpool. There have been many reports that divers have discovered brass bells, silver bars, and stern telemeters worth thousands of dollars from the ship. Number 3. Two Cranes, One Ship One crane not being able to take a shipload and handle it? We get it. But what about two huge cranes? They should definitely be able to take a shipload and perform the simple task of picking up the ship and launching it into the water. Well, not always. This is an ugly scene where two cranes are trying to launch one ship. Unfortunately, one of the cranes loses balance, and because of that, the load goes on the other crane, and it loses control too, and all that leads to the crashing of the ship right into the water. Really a dangerous ship launch failure. Harness failure. It doesn't matter what size they are, ships are always expensive. A boat can cost from 100000 to billions of dollars. If you don't believe us, just go and check the value of a U.S. Marine cruise. In this video, it's hard to figure out if they are launching the boat or trying to put it on the ship's deck. However, the boat tethered to the winch cable holding it seems stable enough at first. But within a blink of an eye, the winches seem to lose their hold on the boat, which gets dropped off into the water quite abruptly. That's some $100,000 down the drain. Or should we be saying, sinking in the river? And with that, it's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. If you come across a photo online and want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it on a future video. Number 2 This is actually a launch of the USS St. Louis that was held in Wisconsin. In the picture, it seems like the ship is about to roll over into the ocean, but contrary to popular belief, the launch was actually completely successful, and the ship was not damaged at all. This vessel is the 19th Freedom Class Littoral Combat Ship of the United States Navy and operates independently on missions around the world. Number 1. MS Estonia Disaster When a ship launches for the first time successfully from its dock, you'd expect it to come back, right? But sadly, life isn't always that simple and straight. The Estonia ship casualty that took place in the Baltic Sea is one of the greatest maritime incidents in European history. The cruise ship, MS Estonia, was constructed by Meyer Werft in their German shipyard. Despite the trustworthiness in German engineering, everything that could go wrong did eventually go wrong on the 28th of September 1994. The ship was heading to Stockholm from the province of Talnen when it sank unexpectedly. More than 800 horrified and helpless victims lost their lives that day, and many of the bodies of the dead were never recovered from the Baltic Sea. 
To this date, the cause of the tragedy remains a mystery. There have been a lot of theories, however, brought forth to try to rationalize the disaster. One of the most popular ones is that the ship came across terrible weather conditions, and the captain could barely navigate through them. Another rumor claims that rival countries planted bombs in the ship, and one theory says that the ship came across something that it wasn't supposed to. A Kraken. What do you guys think it was? Which one of these ship launches was your favorite? Let us know in the comments, and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.